Okay, in this video we're going to look at using percentages and calculators together. In the last few videos you would have seen working out percentages using 10% and then finding chunks of that. However, if we've got a calculator we can make things a lot quicker to work them out. So, let's have a look at this question here. We've got increased £28 by 18%. Now, first of all we need to know what 18% is as a decimal. So let's think about that 18% as a decimal. Well 18% means the same thing as 18 divided by 100 or 18 out of 100. Percent out of 100. So with that percent we can work this out. 18 over 100 that's 0.18. Now if you didn't know that the easy spot is well 0.18, 18. It's just 0 point in front of the percentage. So fairly easy to spot that. That is 18% as a decimal. Now, we're asked to increase. Now, all prices, original prices, are 100%. What's that as a decimal? Well, 100 out of 100 equals 1. So we're adding 18% on. So that's going to be... 100% plus 18%, well that's 1 plus 0.18, which equals 1.18. Now, if we use this, we can use that to, multi to increase this by 28. So, we're going to type this into our calculator. We're going to do 28 multiplied by 1.18. Because what that does, that says, I'm going to multiply, I'm going to find out what 100% is, what 18% is, and I'm going to add it together for you. So, we're going to do 28 times 1.18. Press the SD button to get that as a nice decimal. That gets us 33.04. That is £28, ooh, let's put the pound sign on, £28 increased by 18%, £33.04. Let's just recap the steps there because that was quite quick and I just want to make sure you get this. So, we're increasing £28 by 80%, so we're starting with 100% and we're adding on 18% to it. But we need that as a decimal for it to work on our calculator. So that's one plus 0.18, which is 1.18. We then take this, what we call a multiplier, and we times it by the 28 pounds. So we're doing 28 times 1.18, and that gets us our answer there. Now, let's look at this in a slightly different question and hopefully it will allow us to access it. We got decrease £160 by 36%. So, we're starting with the original amount, which is our 100%. We're decreasing, so that's taking away the amount. Taking away 36%. Let's do the same trick as we did up here. We need to turn them into decimals. So, 100%, that's 1, minus... 0.36. We could do that on a calculator, so let's do that now. 1 take away 0.36, that's 0.64. Right, okay, 0.64. And that's our multiplier. It's still called a multiplier, even though we're decreasing. So we're going to do 0.64 multiplied by the £160. Well, that, let's type that into a calculator. is 102.4. Now that's not money, so we need to make that into money, so pound sign, oh, and we need a zero there to make that a proper pence. So, decreasing, 100%, take away your percentage into decimals, work that out on a calculator, and there's your answer. Now, here's two quick questions you can have a go to practice. I'm going to do the answers for you, not the method, so you need to work them out yourself and check. Okay, here's the answers. We've got 
kilograms increased by 27% should have got you 114.3 kilograms. Decreasing 18 grams by 84% is 2.88 grams. And that's how we use a calculator when we're working out percentages of amounts, particularly when we're increasing and decreasing.